Sawadikap and welcome. You're watching PGTV News and my name is Mark Malloy. Today's top stories. The sinking of 10 decommissioned military aircraft, nicknamed the Coral Reef Squadron, to create Thailand's largest artificial reef have been postponed until November because of the bad weather. At a press conference, it was said that the strong winds and large waves that have arrived with the rainy season monsoon have now made it too dangerous to sink the aircraft in Bangtao Bay. The long-planned operation was set to begin last Saturday and wrap up with Tourism and Sports Minister Wirasak Kosurat and Thai celebrities attending the final day festivities yesterday, which was a public holiday. Now, the four Douglas C-47 Dakota Skytrain military transport aircraft and six Sikorsky S-58T helicopters will be kept at Lyon Beach until the weather improves. Meanwhile, news media has reported that the weather has killed as many as 243 people when Cyclone Nagi passed into Myanmar this weekend. Telecommunications, transport and other utilities were virtually out of service, resulting in the shutdown of the international airport there. As of late Sunday, Thai Airways International was still unable to operate flights to Yangon as a result of the infrastructure damage as well as the weather conditions. An Australian man is recovering at Wachira Hospital after being airlifted by the Royal Thai Navy from the Similan Islands into Phuket late last week. The 3rd Naval Area Command, based at Cape Panwa, named the 51-year-old man as Gregory Edwin Orio. The naval base had received an emergency call from the Navy outposts at the Similan Islands requesting that a helicopter with doctor and medical equipment on board be dispatched immediately as Mr. Orio had suffered two convulsive fits. At least one doctor and a nurse from the Nareton Emergency Medical Services Centre at Wachira Hospital, which responds to distress calls throughout the Andaman region, were sent to recover Mr. Orio. The helicopter landed at Phuket City Police Station and Mr. Orio was transferred immediately to the Wachira Hospital, by which time Mr. Orio was able to walk from the helicopter to the ambulance unassisted. Good news for film lovers as Thailand moves to ban mobile phones from cinemas, not to avoid the noise problem, but to cut down on pirating. Mobile phones will soon be banned from cinemas as the government strives to combat the high level of intellectual property rights violations in the kingdom. The move follows a recent meeting between Deputy Commerce Minister Banyin Tangpapon and officers of the International Intellectual Property Association. The association urged the creation of the law forbidding mobiles in cinemas because it found that it was now easy for high technology recent model phones to record films which increased copyright infringements. And now let's take a look at this bad weather. Well, we can expect very cloudy weather with scattered thunderstorms and of course rain. There will be a high temperature of 30 degrees Celsius and a low of 25 degrees Celsius. Winds are from the northeast at 11 kilometers per hour. Sunrise was at 6.11 a.m. and sunset 6.36 p.m. And now let's take a look at the currency exchange. So, how do you know we're looking for a manager? Saw your ad in the Phuket Gazette. Gazette? Yeah, here. Classified ads. Sure, that's the Phuket Gazette. Hmm. Your resume says you're perfect in English. So why do you say Gazette? It's Gazette. Okay, okay, Gazette. Perfect. You've got the job. Kaupen <laughs> Ka. And now let's see what's happening right here in Phuket. 
The Punchline Comedy Club, in association with the London Comedy Store, presents a night of live international stand-up comedy. There are three top comedians from Britain, two glass-filling intervals and a joke competition. And together they will fill a night of fun and laughter. The comedians performing are Paul Thorne, Tom Rigglesworth and Ian Moore. Tickets are available at Woody's Sandwich Shops and you can get more information on their website at www.phuketcomedy.com. And that's all for this edition of PGTV News. Don't forget you can see us online at worldwideweb.phuketgazette.net/tv. My name is Mark Malloy. Sawadee so kap.